In part two of this series, we'll continue answering the questions where we left off. We left off with question two, and the question reads, Backpackers often use canisters of white gas to fuel a cooking stove's burner. If one canister is 1.45 liters of white gas and the density of the gas is 0 0.710 grams per centimeters cubed, what is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? One thing that I want to mention before we start the calculation is that this is three significant figures and so is this. So our final answer should have three significant figures. The first thing that I want to do is convert 1.45 liters into milliliters. The reason why I'm doing that is because we want our final answer to be a mass in kilograms. So by converting to milliliters, I can then convert to centimeters cubed and then use the properties of the density, which is grams per centimeters cubed, and find the mass in grams. And then from there, I can find the kilograms. Here's what I mean. I'll take 1.45 liters, multiply it by this conversion factor, one milliliter over 10 to the power of negative three liters. That will cancel out the liters. Then I'll multiply this product by this conversion factor, where I'll put milliliters at the bottom, and at the top, one centimeter cubed. That will cancel out the milliliters. Next, I'll multiply this product by the next conversion factor. And I'll write it out like this, where I have 0 0.768 grams at the top and one centimeter cubed at the bottom. The reason why I oriented this conversion factor to look like this is so that this centimeters cubed unit and this unit will cancel out. Lastly, we need to go from grams to kilograms. The conversion factor for that is shown right here. So I'll multiply this by 1,000 grams at the bottom and one kilogram at the top. This will cancel out with that, leaving us with kilograms. So I'll multiply 1.45 times this number. That will take care of the numerators. And then I'll multiply these two and divide by what we found earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. Starting with 1.45, it's hidden from your view, but it's right there, times 0 0.768, that takes care of all the numbers at the top, we don't worry about the ones, divided by 10 to the power of negative 3 times 1,000. This gives us a final answer of 1.1136. To put this to three significant figures, we will discount this three and the six, where we end up with a final answer of one decimal 11 kilograms. Let's move on to question three. A drop of gasoline has a mass of 22 milligrams and a density of 0 0.754 grams per centimeters cubed. What is the volume in cubic centimeters? This question is slightly easier than question two. We've been given the mass of the gasoline. It's 22 milligrams, so this has two significant figures, and this has three significant figures. So our final answer should have two. We'll take 22 milligrams and first convert it into grams, because our density is in terms of grams. So to convert 22 milligrams into grams, I know that 1,000 milligrams is equal to one gram. So 1,000 milligrams is one gram. I can cancel out the milligrams, where I end up with 22 divided by 1,000 gives me this many grams, 0 0.022 grams. Now I'll take this number and multiply it to the density. So I have 0 0.022 grams times, and instead of putting 0 0.754 at the top like we did in questions one and two, I'll put it at the bottom. 0 0.754 grams and one centimeter cubed at the top. You can do that. You can do that with every conversion factor, not just density. The grams cancel out and I'm left with this number divided by 0 0.754. This gives me an answer of 0 0.029. Remember, you only need two significant figures. So anything after this nine is insignificant. Our final answer is 0 0.029 centimeters cubed. So there you have it. That is how to convert from one unit to another using density.